Lately, it seems as if somebody has opened the floodgates, causing the market to be overrun by a deluge of small, inexpensive, but really competent bikes. Over the last few months, we've tested the Kawasaki Ninja 400, the Husqvarna 401 Vitpilin, the BMW G310 GS, and the KTM RC390. And now it's the turn of this guy, the Suzuki DL250 V-Strom. All of these bikes have one thing in common. They're all perfectly capable of maintaining highway speeds up everything but the steepest of hills. With its 250cc mole, the Suzuki is the smallest of the batch and it faces hefty competition from the similarly priced but bigger capacity bikes. At highway speeds, the revs come perilously close to the 10,500 RPM redline, which makes it more of an urban commuter rather than an open road traveler. On the upside, it offers a motor with proven reliability, and that's combined with an adventure-style body that can quite easily be mistaken for a bigger bike. The instrument panel will be a familiar sight to anybody who knows the smaller Suzukis. It is a monochrome TFT screen that offers a variety of information. Another welcome addition is the fact that the Suzuki sports a 12-volt accessory socket which will be very handy if you want to fit something like a cell phone charger or a GPS unit to the bike. Like its Bavarian counterpart, the 250 V-Strom is not really an off-road bike, although the occasional soft road won't cause much of a problem. With its 17-inch wheels and the lack of grunt from the engine, the 250 V-Strom is definitely not an adventure tourer, despite Suzuki emblazoning those words along the side of the tank. In fact, they actually threw in the word sport, just for good measure. The motor is a parallel twin, and it's lifted straight from the Inazuma, and that makes the V-Strom name a little bit of a misnomer. However, in Suzuki's defense, I will concede that parallel Strom or P-Strom doesn't quite have the same ring. With a power delivery of 18.4 kilowatts and 23.4 newton meters of torque, the V-Strom reaches a top speed of 136 k's per hour before the taco bar hits the red line at 10,500 revs. Acceleration is, to put it diplomatically, rather gentle. And it will definitely not intimidate or scare a lesser experienced rider. On the other hand, the engine is butter smooth and the bike is comfortable, which means that rider fatigue will not be much of an issue even on longer rides. The little Strom is actually quite pleasant to ride in town and it's narrow and high enough to allow you to lane split with impudence. The clutch is quite light and easy to operate, which bodes well for a bike that's likely to spend the greater part of its life in traffic. The brakes, while perfectly up to the task, do lack a little bit of feel, which can be a bit disconcerting until you get used to it. The small screen isn't really needed in town, but it does a good job of keeping the wind at bay, especially when you hit the open road. With its mild character, the 250 View Strom will make an excellent beginner's bike, but one that most riders are very likely to outgrow fairly quickly. You probably won't stick with it as your primary bike. If you can afford to keep it when you buy something bigger, it is likely to serve you for many years as a practical, comfortable and economical commuter and one with sufficient attitude that it won't hurt your ego while riding it.